Right guys, welcome back to the vlog. Um, I hope you enjoyed the last pool session that was recorded for the channel. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it in the description here or you can find it on my channel. Um, but today we go through a pool workout using bands and dumbbells. So if you've got minimal equipment, this kind of setup or video is going to be great for you for those that don't have a massive amount of equipment available for you. So it's weird, weird times that we're living in at the minute um, with everything that's going on, certainly of our generation the like the weirdest thing that we've seen or had to deal with um and all we can do is just stay at home and hopefully this will blow over sooner um than we sort of think but let's just keep staying safe staying at home and uh, enjoying home workouts which i am loving at the minute i've got to admit i'm really enjoying home workouts and the time it actually saves me as well so this is pool session from today i'm currently doing a dumbbell row here um, you'll see the wrist attachment that I've got up on my elbow. It's attached to a wrist, like a, a door cuff, which is underneath the door there. And all this is really doing is just helping me more at the peak of that contraction to allow me to get a little bit more on that lift, where perhaps the dumbbells don't go as heavy as I'd ideally like them to. So that's the reason for why I um, have the cuffs around my wrist during that exercise. Um, and then we go on to a pull down. So I, do, I did around about th four, three to four sets on the rows before going down to pull downs. A lot of my sets are quite high at the minute, mainly because because I'm not going to be getting much volume from like actual load from the weight. I get more volume from sets and reps. So that's why you'll find that during these videos, like I will be doing quite a fair amount of sets when I do them, um, just to really get as much as I can out. So um, that was the pullover, uh, and again, using the door hooks, like the door hooks on these resistance bands are super handy for allowing you to find multiple positions to actually get in when it comes to actually being able to set up a decent position to row and uh, find an angle. Um, you'll see this is a seated cable row, um, using obviously the handles on both hands, and I think it's three cables on there, so it's roughly about 25 kilos, which isn't super heavy, again, but do lots of reps this is like a mid set of probably a 20 repper or 20 plus reps at least um really just focusing on the peak of the contraction when i actually bring it in to my sort of lower hip region um, and just holding it there for a few seconds as you can see in the video so that's really where you're going to get the most from these home workouts is by making sure you're holding actually when you get to that peak and then getting a nice stretch as well. Um, especially like when I got into sets two and three of this, you'll find that in some of the home workouts that the first set might not feel great. So try not to get too caught up in the fact that the first set didn't feel amazing because as the sets go on and as you feel them more and more and more, you'll get used to that tension that potentially wasn't there in the first set, especially if you're not not warm as well because a lot of time you go into these kind of home workouts, you don't warm up properly and you do the first set and you think, oh, it doesn't feel great, but give it a few chances, give it a couple of sets and towards the end of those sets, you'll start to feel um, those muscles burning in the areas that you want them to be burning in, okay? So moving on to a resistance band row. So you would have seen me doing these at the start just to warm up. These are now proper sets to failure. Um, and these were great to be honest and you could make this again even harder if you've got somewhere which is better to hook the band over which is sturdy then you could do that from a further away position um, I've not really got anything I could really attach it to so I just used my feet for this one um, and yeah this these felt like really really good actually probably a little bit better than the the band rows in the door because they were a lot heavier um, and these bands go up to about, I think it's 45 kilos. So um, yeah, they just felt a lot heavier actually when doing it. So enjoyed these a lot more than uh, the seated band row. So moving on to a bit of biceps, sort of the end of the workout and uh, you'll see Cooper in the background. He actually ate my door hook, which was fantastic because uh, yeah, he's now broke the handles or the, the door hook for those handles, which is amazing. Um, and they did this whole set without even realizing he was doing it. So yeah, thanks, thanks mate, real good. <laughs> but um, this is like a, a take on a bison curl, basically just a, a facing away bicep curl, which I find really works the peak of the bicep um, and just gets a, a great feel from it where I potentially don't get it from other movements. Um, so I did this after I think it was some normal dumbbell curls, which I didn't record um, just to finish off my session. and. You can see in my face it's hard like these this is not easy like when doing this so 
track don't like don't think that this is easy at all because if you do it right it could be super super hard um anyway i'm now going to take you over to past tense jack who filmed this probably about three days ago this is a full day of eating going through my current mini cut macros which i'll be talking about now all right guys welcome back to the vlog so hope you enjoyed the pool session that i just filmed just having breakfast now this is 25 grams of whey with 200 grams of milk and that's a bowl of cereal which I don't know the exact macro so I'll put them on the screen at some point here um, and yeah just having this so I'm going to film a full day of eating today of dieting so I'm actually going into a, a non-aggressive mini cut over the next few weeks really just because not personally because I feel too fat <laughs> it's mainly for for me over the next few weeks just to stay accountable um, while obviously we are in lockdown it's a bit crap not having a specific goal when I can't PB anything in the gym so I'm quite looking forward just to having a little bit of a diet phase take like maybe eight to ten pounds off um, focus on nutrition over the next few weeks and just really get that reined in for when the gyms reopen again and that's really kind of the whole reason for it I, my skin always flares up a little bit when I bulk too much like when my carbs get silly silly high my skin goes really bad and I just don't like it to be honest um, I'm at the peak of where I feel my bulk's gonna take me um, I'm about six pounds off my previous heavy stage weight so I want to have like a little bit of a recomp now down to sort of 180-ish again um, and then to go back up probably going up further past that in the next kind of off-season phase but yeah this little mini cut's been needed for a while I've not had a proper diet since I finished my prep in 2018 so it's not like I've been doing loads of mini cuts or anything so certainly now is a great time for it to take place so. So lunchtime, so we've got two crumpets with three eggs on, um, full eggs, I don't really do the whites at the minute, I probably will do it at some point when um, hunger kicks in a little bit, but that's around about 380 calories there. Then I've got a protein bar, which is about 210, so all around about 500 calories for the second meal of the day, topped off with a monster, um, and the macros for that will be here. Um, relatively higher fat in this meal i'm not training today so i don't really worry too much about where my fats get placed at certain times in the day when i'm not training when i do train i try and keep it um fairly kind of high carb until i start training and then after i train it's usually some higher fats in the evening um because i usually train around about three o'clock so mainly just to get enough carbs in me before i train but today meals just get free board because it is a rest day um so we'll see you in the next meal will be meal three um, which will be dinner. <laughs> you want some? You want some? You're not getting any. You're not getting any. Alright, so last meal of the day today. So finished off with the yogurt sky. This is the absolute goat of yogurts. This is 97p in little, which is insane for <clears throat> I think it's 30 grams of protein for the whole yogurt, um, which is top work. And then last bit is the bowl of cereal. So this is actually today's full food in my diary here. Uh, try and get it to actually sink in. There we go. So we've got breakfast there, lunch, which you already saw, dinner as well, and then at least the last meal now, which is everything. So that actually brings the macro total for the day at 170 protein, carbohydrates 315, and then fats at 49. So a little bit lower than protein than I normally would have. Um, so I might make that up tomorrow with a little bit more, but um, I'm not too bothered either way. It's still roughly within range of where I'd like it to be. Um, it's about 20 grams off of my normal target. So I've just had a little bit more carbs today um, and tomorrow we'll be back to normal with that higher protein because this is like my first day tracking in a long while. I've not really tracked for a good few weeks now and I think it's 
good habits to get back into it. So we'll make sure I hit that protein a little bit more on target tomorrow. But that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the pool session. The next one we're gonna be bringing in is the legs. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video.